welcome to casting academy in our previous discussion we have seen um, as theory behind the simple bending relation between the moment of inertia stress and y max like this in this session we will go for problem on the on that area first of all number 1 determine the resisting moment of a timber beam that is rectangular in cross section 125 250 mm see like this so depth is 250 mm and wide is 125 mm so here is the neutral axis so this one is y max so determine the resisting moment of a timber beam rectangular in cross section 125 mm and 250 mm the permissible bending stress is 8 newton per mm square so first of all when you when you are uh, solving the problems read the problem as twice and then write down the given data first maximum bending stress given as f max equal to 8 newton per mm square and the uh, cross sectional dimensions of the beam a uh, breadth equal to 125 mm and depth of the beam equal to 250 mm then what we will find the resisting moment that is m a unit is newton per mm just we want find the resisting moment m newton per mm so solution is first of all uh, we just we want the formula m equal to m by i equal to f max divided by uh, y max this is already we know from this uh, what are all we left just you find out first moment of inertia i equal to bd cubed by 12 bd cubed by 12 then breadth equal to 125 mm depth not not 125 depth equal to 250 250 cubed divided by 12 just to work out our answer is 1.6276 into 10 power 8 mm power 4 so the moment of inertia unit is mm power 4 careful about in this unit then distance of extreme layer which means y max y max distance of extreme layer from the neutral axis y max equal to d divided by 2 250 divided by 2 equal to 125 mm i already know m by i equal to f max by y max just to we put all those things just m equal to f max divided by y max into i i equal to moment of inertia so 8 into 1.6276 into 10 power 8 divided by 125 after this we got 10.417 10.417 into newton per mm uh, the final result is the resisting moment of the timber beam m equal to 10.417 into 10 power 6 newton per mm next problem next problem a steel rod 100 mm dia is to be bent into circular shape find the maximum radius of curvature which it should be bent so that stress in the steel should not exceed 120 newton per mm square take angst modulus e equal to 2 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square so first of all we write the given data first so given data first so dia of the steel rod d equal to 100 mm maximum bending stress f max equal to 120 per newton per mm square x modulus equal to 2 into 10 power 5 next we we want find uh, the radius of curvature r in mm solution so as you know f max by y max equal to f by sorry e by r so from this we want only r so rewrite the equation like this so what are all the unknown parameters distance of extreme layer y max we don't know uh, distance of extreme layer from neutral axis y max equal to d by 2 which means 100 divided by 2 50 mm so put in this so 2 into 10 power 5 so e equal to 2 into 10 power 5 and y max equal to 50 and f max equal to given 120 so just we go work out 8333 mm so finally the result of the, the resist radius of curvature 
R equal to 8333 8, mm. X problem. A rectangular beam 200 mm deep and 100 mm wide is simply supported over a span of 8 meter and carries a central point load of 25 kilo newton. Determine the maximum stress in the beam. Also calculate the value of longitudinal fiber stress at a distance of 25 mm from the surface of the beam. So it's a simply supported beam, a span 8 meter, cross sections of the beam are all given. Determine the maximum stress in the beam. So also calculate the longitudinal fiber stress. So first you write down the given data first. What are all the data in problem? Width of the beam B equal to 100 mm and depth of the beam D equal to 200 mm. Length of beam L equal to 8 meter convert into 800, 8000 mm. Central point load W equal to 12 kilo newton that is 12 into 10 power 3 newton. So what we find the maximum bending stress F max in newton per mm square. So next question is the bending stress at a distance 25 mm from the surface of the beam F1 that is newton per mm square. So bending stress F max at Y max and uh, at a particular distance 25 mm what will be the bending stress okay solution the moment of energy uh, first we want to find uh, m by i equal to f max y max so unknown parameters is just to find moment of energy i equal to bd cubed by 12 so breadth depth cube divided by 12 so we put and we got the answer of 66.667 into 10 power 6 newton per uh, sorry mm power 4 distance of extreme layer from the neutral axis that is y max equal to d by 2 200 by 2 equal to 100 mm in case of uh, in case of simply supported beam subjected to a central point load maximum bending moment m equal to wl divided by 4 in case of simply supported beam subjected to a point load central point load the maximum bending moment occurs at m bending moment m equal to wl divided by 4 so 25 into 10 power 3 so width of the beam uh, sorry load um, 25 into 10 power 3 into 8000 length divided by 4 so we got 50 into 10 power 6 newton per mm so already know m by a equal to f max by y max so just we find f max so f max so we put all the data 15 into 10 power 6 and 100 into divided by 66.67 into 10 power 6 we got 75 newton per mm square so this this is the maximum stress next to find the bending stress at a distance 25 mm from the surface of the beam so to find the bending stress at a distance 25 mm from the surface of the beam the distance of layer from the neutral axis y max equal to y1 particularly the over y max equal to 100 minus 25 equal to 75 mm so here f1 divided by y1 f max divided by y max, y max that is f1 equal to f max divided by y max into y1 so put uh, 7500 f max equal to 75 and y max equal to 100 y1 equal to 75 now answer is 60 56.25 newton per mm square so finally you write down the result the maximum bending stress f max equal to 75 newton per mm square the bending stress at a distance 25 mm from surface of the beam f1 equal to 56.25 newton per mm square